What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the man guide. Let's get straight into it. So, like, I'm literally just in my kitchen, and I really want to know how people manage to just stay strong every day for their kids. Like, usually people manage to pick a better man to have a kid with. Shots fired! Shots fired! Just saying, being a single mom. Single mom. Now you're a single mom. It's not easy. I am struggling. I am mentally struggling. Uh, just being a single mom and having to do everything on my own. Like, it's draining. It's so emotionally draining. And I try to find the strength every day. But I just don't have it anymore in me. So... You don't have it anymore in you. <laughs> <laughs> it's now climbing on your back. Yeah, let me know how you guys manage to keep it together every day. Well, most women manage to pick a better man and have a baby with a man that's actually going to stay and be a father. Most women aren't. She's a runner. She's a track star. Just saying. Because I have no support. No you had some support, but you picked a bad man. See, is it, <laughs> this is what I don't get, bro. This is what I don't get. The person that's supposed that is supposed to support you and that baby is the father of that child. Why did you pick a man that wasn't your husband first? Or why did you let a man why did you give a man the highest honor you could possibly give a man, your womb, your body, to have a kid with and he's not even there for you? This is why the phrase marry before you carry is a popular phrase because women should do this. We should go back into this. This is why it's so hard to feel bad for these women because like you chose to spread your legs for this guy. You chose to have his baby and now you're complaining about the consequences of your own actions. It's like really hard it's really hard to feel bad for people like this. It's like if I jumped off a roof and was like, "Ah, I broke my leg. People should feel bad for me. I broke my leg." Oh god. But they're like, "But you chose to jump off that roof and roof and break your leg." Stupid. Like it's really hard to feel bad for you. Everybody that told me, oh, they're going to be there for me and my kid, this and that. When is the time for y'all to show up? Y'all leave. And that's what got me <laughs> up because why? Like, I'm genuinely not that type of person to people, but I just can never catch a break and I'm over it. Can you imagine? When my light bills do, you said you was going to be there for me. <laughs> hey, you came over that one time, you opened up my fridge, you flicked on a couple lights. I'm going to need you I need you to run that 250. Stupid. I'm going to need you to run that. That's what she's expecting. Of course people said they're going to be there for you. Girl, we'll help you out. But the thing is other people got other problems. Your problems are your problems. Oh, look, the consequences of my own actions. It's just so hard to feel bad for. Single moms around the holidays be like, "Mommy doesn't have any money for coffee." That's I don't. So, you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> yeah? We need to flirt with this bitch. We need to flirt with her really, really hard. Are you kidding me? This kind of language around your child? Hard. You have to be extra super, super cute. Like, blow her a kiss. Say hi. Like, be really, really, really cute. And then, uh, oh my gosh, I must have left my car at home after you made this drink already. Game plan. Let's go, baby. Let's go get some coffee. A day in the life is of this, Is this for real? Is this, is that for real? That is insane. And she's probably raising a boy. That's the saddest part. She's raising a little boy. Whenever I feel lonely, I wish I had someone, uh, someone, your videos remind me why I'm doing so much better alone. Sad single mom. I wake up in the morning and go to my closet. I miss getting ready in the dark, trying to be considerate of my husband, even though he sounds like an earthquake getting ready in the morning. I go to the fridge and open up a container, but where's that useless little metal flap on the top? Maybe it's in the garbage. But when I got to the garbage, I noticed it wasn't overflowing. After I made some lunch, I decided to put it away in Tupperware containers in the fridge. Can you believe I survived without a man sticking the whole pot in the fridge? Bro, did she just bear back that celery? <laughs> You're bare back in that celery on top? Bro, chat, let me know. Do you guys do this? This is reckless behavior, bro. You might as well just put cheese slices down. <laughs> Just put your deli ham down. Is she putting open pots in here? Baby girl, that better not be no raw cut cucumber just sitting there next to the eggs. This lady got problems. I, you can judge a person big time by what their fridge looks like. Because it's too difficult to put it in containers. Then I decide to relax for the day in my sweatpants. Wishing a man would tell me I look so much better in jeans. And I really should wear them more often since there's so much extra space in my house. I have room she for cuddling with candles? Next level is sad. These different scented candles. So I guess they'll keep me company. Send your thoughts and prayers. Relax, Chelsea Handler. Bro, 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 bro. Honey, it is not that serious. 
This is sad, bro. Wow. That holy geez. Wow, that was sad. Cuddling up next to candles, barebacking celery in the fridge. Chat, would you guys ever do that? Would you bareback some celery? That is reckless behavior. Never. Mm -hmm. No offense. No. Why would why would a man offense. go for a thirty year old right. when he can have a fresh twenty one year old that okay. a men look at it as oh she's thirty which means she's older mm -hmm. she's been ran through yep. she's tarnished um she's hard hey, we love that she's a runner she's a track star this girl's based and by all the relationships so she's lost her femininity oh, because she's masculine mm -hmm. that's what I want to ask wow. her she's men think about these type of things mm -hmm. and it's very unfortunate that women don't realize that until they hit thirty they want to be in their twenties and be like oh yeah I can. Fuck this guy, fuck that guy, but they don't ru realize you're ruining yourself. Facts. And then you're trying to find yourself, and by the time you're 30, you're like, where have all the good men gone? Not oh, to you, because you ran through. Yo. Oh. 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 Preach. Preach, honey. Ran through like a set of stairs, ran through like the Boston Marathon, ran through like an escalator at the airport, just straight ran. I need to get that little blah, 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 little cartoon run sound. Uh, I will be updating the soundboard. A lot of you guys have been giving me a hard time. Levi, you need to update the soundboard. Blah, blah, blah. I will be updating it, okay? I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. How old are you? I'm 20. Huh? If you ever want to know why dark romance book talk is full of women in their 30s, it's because when we graduated high school, we were watching really cute romantic shows like Sons of Anarchy and True Blood while listening to love songs like Lips of an Angel and Crazy Bitch and simultaneously dealing with daddy issues and mommy issues. Any questions? Jamie, show, show me the relationship with her father. <laughs> Thing. The first thing I look for in a woman is intelligence, because if she doesn't have that, she's mine. Okay? Shiba Nanaya should have bought a Honda. I recently turned 50. Golly! Um, but I'm still a single woman. Shocker. Men don't ask me out on dates. Do I look bad? Chat, let me know. Rate her in the comments. Let's know. Let us see here. I mean, for 50, she looks good. Okay. So, how long have you been single? Three years. And you're over 30? Next question. God, I okay. hate this build. This is the horse build. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, when them, these BBLs are killing y'all. These BBLs kill y'all, and the thighs don't match you. Oh, I gotta work on that one. Well, behind this door, we have the man of your dreams. All you have to do is spin the wheel and land on red. I legit just had that was stupid. First date of my life. Oh boy, why? This guy takes me to Kava. It, it's a chain restaurant that sells bowls. Is it Kava good? Even pay for my bowl. I have to pay for my own bowl. And then I, I, good. I leave. You guys wanted equality. Chivalry's dead, and y'all killed it. I immediately leave, and I sit alone in a park. Yeah, he dodged a bullet. So you want equality, and then cry. When you get equality, you are saying. independent boss women until the bill comes. For real. You want all the benefits. Women want equality until it's like the Titanic sinking. <laughs> you got to open a door. You got to pay for a movie. You got to pay for a meal. Like, no, 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 no. I don't want that equality. The equality I want is the like equality of like income. How much you're making, I want to make that much. But I don't want to work as hard. That come with being treated like a traditional woman without having to act like a traditional woman. Preach it. Get two feet in the church, be willing to submit to your husband, choose a family over a career, and then and only then 
can you expect the traditional treatment of having your dinners paid for? I would tell you to cry about it, but you already did in the park alone. That's tough. Yeah, no, I don't really do mud. But you're a garden fairy. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Yes, I'm beautiful. Bro, that makes no sense. That's, that's what I'm saying. I preach relationships, bro. I preach them. Gorgeous, but I'm also insane. Wait, somebody called you gorgeous? Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm not seeing it! Insane. But don't forget beautiful and gorgeous. And the gag is, these men that disrespect women and talk down on women are always in women business. <laughs> they don't even like women for real. <laughs> the homophobia that these women exude when it comes to a man that won't deal with their childishness is crazy to me. Like, they immediately will call you gay before owning up to the saying, you know what, maybe we act a little childish, maybe we act a little petty, maybe we could mature up a little bit. They would much rather eat this mush slop. <laughs> I don't even know if that's eggs or mashed potatoes. Maybe it's mashed eggs, I don't know, or egg potatoes. But they would much rather slander a man and be homophobic as opposed to taking accountability. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Y'all better wake up. <laughs> I'm single because I choose to be single right now. So I don't need a man right now. So you saying, oh, you're single because you can't get a man? Yeah, well, yeah, you can't retain one? Is there's ridiculous. Plenty. The reason why you're saying that you don't need a man right now is because of your inability to no. attract and retain a man of value right now. Because Thanks. if you are attracting no, and retaining I'm any dudes... I'm focusing on my career and bettering myself. So are you celibate? That doesn't okay, matter. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> You better sell a bit of that stuff to somebody who actually cares. Goodness gracious, bro. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired is a little late on that one. So that means that you got some random that has no potential that's smashing. You granted him your key, because women hold the key to sex. You granted him your key of sex, mm -hmm. right? Okay, cool. He didn't grant you his key of a relationship, but even if he did, you probably wouldn't accept it because he's a low-tier dude. That's my point. Because if he was a high tier dude, you would be the one begging for a relationship. Facts. Say if I'm an incel, I don't have the ability to have sex. I'm involuntary celibate, right? That means that girls don't want to have sex with me. I want to have sex with them, but they don't want to have sex with me. And I'm just saying like, oh yeah, well, I'm not having sex because it's... We having some daywalkers on the show. <laughs> Good lord by choice no it isn't by choice it's a man's natural proclivity to have sex it's a woman's natural proclivity to want a quality man so what i'm saying is that you're not getting your natural proclivity and you're trying to you're trying to cope with it and say oh yeah i don't want it it's a coping mechanism no fugazi He's always preaching facts good man savannah me to me when i finally date a man with an office job instead of a man with two phones and wads of cash good lord those lips she looks like a brat stall shots fired shots is that, is that the, is that, what is the, I hate this build. A good man. You guys cheat for a thousand dollars? Yeah, maybe, yeah. A thousand, she's a runner, money. she's a track star. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. thousand dollars is a lot of money? Bro, chat, let me know. Is a thousand dollars a lot of money? I, maybe when I was in college, but now I'm like a thousand goes like that. All right, now, go sit and spend that money. I don't have to go shopping. Yeah, shopping's free for a thousand dollars. Oh, would you guys cheat for a hundred dollars? Absolutely not. I probably will. It's a hundred bucks. Do you know how many hours that is for working? Like I was. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Good lord. So do it. Not enough. Uh, someone's calling me on Discord. <laughs> that was so cringe. Uh, let's see. I don't recognize the username. You mind if I add them to our call real quick? I just want to see what they want. And I don't really want to hang up on you. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Ooh, hello. Oh, fuck. It's you again. Didn't I tell you to stop contacting me? I've blocked every single alt account you've made just to message me on. Can you stop now? Oh, you? <laughs> Sweetie, I don't know you anything. You were the one who was like, Oh, look at me. I have all the money. If you want Welkin, tell me. If you want crystals, tell me. I'll get it all for you. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't force you to do any of that. You did that out of your own volition. So, no, I don't know you anything. I'm playing with my friend. <laughs> boyfriend? You think he could be my boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. He's my friend. He's not paying me anything. 
I like playing with him because he actually cares about me. He checks up on me, he makes sure I eat, he lets me tank. Well, why are you laughing? For those who didn't understand- Bro, what in the H-E double hockey sticks was that? <laughs> Good lord, the brain rot. Vo volition? Is that a word? The faculty or power of use of one's will. Okay, I thought that was fruition. No? Bro, I'm sitting here. The point at which a plan... Okay, all right. Well, I guess volition is a word. She, she, bro, she was throwing me for a loop. I hate the fake ew, ew. I hate that stuff. This stuff is so weird. Get off Discord. Go touch some grass. This is crazy to me. And then also the gamer girls just baiting. Oh, Loki, does somebody want to carry it? Free. Sit. Wait. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Um, yeah, like the gamer girls, like, what is it like? In the past five years, there's been so many more gamer girls. Back in the day, gaming was dudes only. Chat, let me know if you saw this transition. It really happened out of nowhere. Like, these girls were like, they weren't gamers, but then now they're gamers, and now they're wearing the headsets, and it's like, I feel like y'all just hacked that community so you could come in and just get men. Like, now there's a subset of women that are all into the gaming community. I'm like, hey, you, know, you know how many gamer girls I've met in my life? Like, two, ever. And I've met a lot of women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. For real, though, my dildo. Oh, no. All right, so you, you, you with my wife? He beating the cheeks, buddy. What's up, boss? That, that's my wife right there. Hey, what's up, boss? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? He, he's like... Let me slow this down. He's like, uh, hey, what's up, boss? I don't know what you're digging for, but that's that's my wife right there. Oh, he's digging for something. I want a divorce, okay? Will you give me a divorce? Will you give me a divorce, please? Please, give me a divorce. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Okay? I'm Will you give me a divorce, bro? That's just the energy in that. I'd be like... We're getting divorced. It's over. You're done. Like, I feel really bad for this guy, but at the same, at the same time, you got to know your worth, man. He's probably been simping for a while, and there's a reason that she's even comfortable doing that. Loki, go to your place. They want to see you. He doesn't understand that he's the star of the show. Cass is over there being a good wife. She's cleaning the house. Just, just, I'm so lucky to have a good woman, dude. It was like 10 minutes. Right? Well, he gave you the run. Can I oh So it has been decided by millions of women that if he cannot get you off, he no longer counts in your body count. Stupid. It doesn't matter oh. if it was 10 I minutes, it. like your situation. It doesn't matter if it was an hour. Oh. If you don't finish. It's not a body. He doesn't count. Of course. I love it, dude. I love it. I love it. Everything's not a body. It's not a body unless he's six foot. It's not a body <laughs> unless he has a six pack. It's not a body unless he makes six figures. If you don't get off, it's not a body. Um, if you were drunk, it's not a body. Um, if you are with your friends that you usually don't hang out with, it's not a body. It's like, <laughs> I guess it's just body count just is whatever you want it to be. But whatever you want it to be now, you can just, you want it to, you felt, you felt like that one wanted to count. Eh, cool. We can do that one. But if you, if you know what I mean? Like, good Lord. Is this one back again? at least three and when a man buy that by three and you'll have a good guess about the real number all right let's see here i think the more i do this divorce documentary i think that women are evil when it comes to divorce i want to leave i interviewed this guy oh my god it was so sad he literally showed me text like messages print because I, I make them bring in the document because then people will say they're lying or whatever so i make them bring in the actual like documents she literally said to her friend i wish he would hit me because she was trying to get him to hit her so she could take the kids and like bring that to court wow. even though she, and, she, uh, that is and crazy. she admitted to hitting him multiple times and then she didn't let him see the kid for a year and then she went to court and guess who still got primary custody she did girl. isn't that crazy our generation Bro, is that's still crazy but the thing is the the judicial system's cooked it's all in the woman's favor it's not in the man's favor they don't want what's best for the child they want what's best for the woman but the thing is these divorces were created and all these laws were created when women were more traditional and men were more traditional when women didn't work they stayed at home they raised kids they you know helped build the uh, the family unit that they have but 
that's long gone now. Women are working. Women are, you know, like they're at work. They're coming home to mom sometimes. They got nannies. They got shifts. They're not doing all that, but then they still want all the benefits on the back end. It's like, if you're not willing to put up the work on the front end, being a stay-at-home mom and raising your kids, I don't think you should get any benefit on the back end. I think if you've had a job, you should be split custody. But then I hate that for the kids because let me know, chat. Let me know. Were any of you guys a part of a family that was divorced and you had to do the custody thing where you were with your mom during the week and your dad on the weekend? I absolutely hated it. I could not stand being like, I got to go hang out with my dad. My dad was a deadbeat from the jump. My dad called me the other day, or I actually, actually I called my dad the other day, and I was like, hey, man, what's, how's it going? It was like a Friday, and he's like, oh, man, last night I was out. I smoked something that almost made me go blind. I was like, <laughs> smoke something that almost made you go blind? What the hell are you smoking? My dad's about, every day at 65 still smoking meth. I'm telling you, you can't make this stuff up, bro. My dad's a degenerate. It is what it is. Hope he sees this. Because um, you need a wake-up call, Dad. Um, <laughs> but for real, though, my dildo. But no, I hated having to, like, because I had, like, my setup at my mom's house. I had my Xbox. I had my room. I had my posters. I was, like, I was set up from the get-up. But then I have to go kick with my dad. My dad lived in a double wide with roaches, and it was horrible. I hated that. I hated being split. But let me know, chat. Was anybody part of, like, a divorce household where you had to do the custody, like, here and there? Like, I hated having to go here and there. It sucked. It was not fun for me as a kid. Six years old, and while I'm getting ready for surgery and everything, it dawned on me that I'm 46 years old mm. and I don't have a husband to take care of me. Oof. Being single and 46 sucks. It just sucks. And I make jokes about buffoons that I have been encountering in, in dating. But in reality, this is this is my reality. <laughs> The common denominator in that buffoonery is you. Shots fired! Shots fired! Don't feel bad for her one bit. If this is, you know, like you're sitting here making all these decisions, hanging out with all these men. 42. And that means half <laughs> of my it. life is over. I'm not okay being single. I don't want to be single. And I get depressed. As a person who has been single for me personally my whole life. I'm 53. I am. I'm tired. I'm tired of doing it myself. She looks like one of those, um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Those, those little, that, that piece of china that you see at your grandma's house. <laughs> That's what that, that shirt reminds me of. She doesn't look bad, 53. But not me. I ain't trying to be a hero. I can be your hero, baby. Not me, buddy. I get my feelings hurt. I don't want to be a hookup. Three no. failed relationships since my marriage had ended. Currently, I don't date. Since your marriage had ended, you mean you ended your marriage and now you can't get another man? Shocker! And it's purely for the reason that I am exhausted. I am done oh. with all of these games. I'm done with men. Why is it so hard to find your person? God am I lonely sometimes. <laughs> I think that most guys I know, most guys I've ever met in my life, would never want to date me. I know that they feel this way. I can she looked like her cousin, a crocodile. Shots fired! Shots fired! Look, looks like she likes shopping on only grocery aisles that are odd numbers. <laughs> that's it. I think that most guys I know are like, Fiona's cool, would never want to date her. I'm pretty hungover, but I'm going to explain with my one brain cell. You're combative, you're argumentative. Men often have opinions or say things that really don't make a lot of sense about politics, psychology, social culture, feminism, I often find myself disagreeing with men. And now, I being disagreeable is a masculine trait. Being agreeable is more a submissive feminine trait. So you're exuding masculine behavior and expecting, where are all the good men? Where are they at? I can read that one before we even get into it, I promise you, buddy. We cannot let them think that they're right. Of course. So I want to debate. I want to argue. Mm hmm I want to prove you wrong, and I bring sometimes an aggressiveness to my debate style. No, to you know your what debate it style, you're just argumentative, honey. Debate style? What do you look like, Andrew Wilson? <laughs> Andrew Wilson's a goat, by the way. It is. It's a confidence to my debate style. I know two guys who I've debated with who have beat me, and I've said, you know what? You're right. In my life. The fact that you're counting just shows how masculine you are. You know how many times I've been wrong? Countless. Bro, I remember being in second grade and I couldn't spell like orange on Oregon Trail. <laughs> and I cried. 
and sat in my second grade teacher's lap, and I was like, I'm so stupid. Stupid. She's like, yes, you are, honey, but it's okay. <laughs> now just get back on the computer. I got shit to worry about. B buy a bushel of corn before you die of dysentery. And I beat him every damn time. He calls me up. I'm sorry, you're right, I'm wrong. I don't think... Your a lot of does, men love this. Your, your dad does that because he wants to still have a relationship with you. Parents will sit there and eat that and be hum own that humility. It usually comes with a sign of age, more maturity. Let me know, chat. As you've gotten older, have you been able to accept the humility and be like, you know what? I know when to hold them and when to fold them. If, at least for me, there's only certain fights that I'm going to fight. I only have a certain amount of energy. Like when I go out with Cass, we were going out early. We were like TJ Maxx, Raw, stuff like that, doing a little bit of shopping, Target, getting our coffee or whatever. But like... When it comes to certain things, I'm like, I don't even have the energy to argue about it. I'm just going to like, you know what? You can have it. I think Keanu Reeves has a quote about this. He's like, I don't have the energy to argue with stupid people. You know what? You're right. You can have it. Just enjoy. <laughs> enjoy that stupid pie that you're eating. Enjoy it. So I turn off the majority of men with this uh, little spice, but I think I will attract... Stupid. The best one percent just hasn't happened yet, but just Stupid. wait on it. The girl is deluded. I turned 25 this week, and if I'm honest, I'm terrified. I'm terrified because I feel like a failure, and I don't know if anyone else watching. You're a failure. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. This understands that feeling, but my life looks nothing like I thought it would at this age. No, when I was man. a kid, I always said, by 25, I'll be married or I'll have a kid. I'll you have this neither. amazing career. And I've done a lot of cool things, don't get me wrong, but I'm about Bro, to what, what I don't get is a lot of these women really do be thinking a job is a career. Honey, being a nurse is a job. Being a hairstylist is a job. A career is when you can work up the corporate ladder and go, yeah, I worked here, but now I'm the CFO. A lot of these are just jobs. You're a welder? That's a job. Like, where do you think these women are? Like, the, the word career gets thrown around so much. For example, let's say you want to be a CFO at a company. You should probably be an accountant first, then like a CPA, and then be like the head of finance, and then like the VP of finance, executive VP of finance, head of finance, and then maybe you could be the CFO one day. Cool, great, you did it. Great, you did it. The thing is, a lot of you ladies are working at TJ Maxx talking about, I'm working a career. Shots fired! Shots fired! That's not a freaking career. Working a job that has no upward mobility is just a job. It's not a career. People, women try to throw this word career out all the time when really they're just working a job. The next time a lady says, I'm working on my career, I'm working on my career, but like, where are you working at? You working at JP Morgan Chase? You working at Wells Fargo? Where are you working at? Working at Nordstrom? You working somewhere with a, a bunch of upward mobility? Or are you just working somewhere? You working at a big company? Because that's really the only place you can do that, that upward trajectory there is a big company. You working at a small little mom and pop shop or you're just a nurse? Honey, that, that's not a career. Being a nurse is not a career. It's just how it is. It's just, it's a job. 25 and most nights I go to bed feeling so lonely. And then most days I wake up feeling lost like i don't know what i'm doing with my life i have this overwhelming thought of is this it is this all there is when you're 25 years old and you live alone and you have no partner and you have maybe two friends and you've struggled with mental illness your entire life oh there's, there's just not much to wake up for is there let me know if you relate. Dude, stop it. Oh, my. Stop. There's not much to wake up. Just baiting sympathy. Here's the thing, dude. Your past can either be a crutch or a springboard. It's your choice to what it does. A lot of people like this woman. Mental illness, my past, this and that, the sad music. She's using her past as a crutch. Personally, I use mine as a springboard. I had a bad past. My dad was abusive, druggy. My parents split up. I had a. I was poor. A lot of you guys can probably resonate. Chat, did you? a lot of you guys have the same growing up? Being poor, raised up. Parents split up. Dad was abusive or mom was abusive in a toxic environment growing up. Wasn't nurtured enough. You know what I mean? Like, you guys were probably around that. Wasn't paid attention to. Mom and dad didn't go to the games that you played. Mom and dad weren't support. You know what I mean? That happens. Not raised in a two-parent household. That happens to a lot of people. And a lot of us 
a lot of people especially i think because it's easier to play the victim it's much harder to be the hero of your own story you can be the victim or the hero if you want your past to be a crutch then you're going to fall into the victimhood well this didn't go well for me and i just if my dad would have went to my second grade basketball game i just i would have been able to be a good man it's like no stop it absolutely stop it but if you use your past as a springboard and say yeah bad things happen to me so I'm going to make it out the mud and I'm going to, I'm going to make the best of a bad situation. That's where you win. That's absolutely where you win. Let your past be a springboard, not your crutch. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's such a freaking good boy. How cute is this kid? How cute is he? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It's selling like hotcakes. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. And also, The Four Steps of Style is there. It's a holy grail for everything style. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.